Hi, I'm Jeremiah. This is Corey Taylor. And today we're going to do a little experiment here with dry ice. So, um, here we have our, our, our hand. And what we're going to be doing today is showing how, how quickly your hand would freeze if you were to put it in contact with the dry ice. Um, I went in, I went ahead and I actually heated this up to approximately 100 degrees, which is a few degrees more than the, the, uh, the normal body temperature right now. It's at uh, 99 degrees. So, uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and put dry ice. You can get the, get the giant chunk to the bottom. I have a timer here and I'm going to start the timer once he presses it down onto the ice so we can show how fast it, how, how much time has progressed. Okay. And right now the ice is sublimating. You get this this foggy stuff, which I believe is carbon dioxide, um, coming off. The temperature is still at 99 degrees. No, oh, now I just went to 98 degrees. It's getting a little cold. We did try it with a smaller piece of ice, not ice, smaller piece of meat, which we don't have here, and it uh, it basically froze solid. It froze so hard that we weren't able to get the uh, the uh, thermometer out. <laughs> so. I didn't do that either. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, frozen solid right there. That's that's uh, solid. And it's at still 98 degrees. We're just going to uh, leave this here, and we'll come back in a few minutes and see what state it is in. Okay, we're back, and it looks like, according to our thermometer, it's at 31 degrees. Corey, why don't you lift up the dry ice? It's frozen. Uh, the this pinky finger. Uh, that, that's the thumb. Well, flip it the other way. So pinky matter. finger. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's basically. It's pretty solid. It's not. It's still kind of flexible. All the other fingers, they're frozen. Uh, one other thing, we also put little toothpicks in there to kind of simulate bone. But uh, it's also the very bottom. It's still a little. It hasn't gone all the way through. But uh, it's been. How many minutes has it been? 18. 18 minutes. So let's say 20 minutes, and it would have been basically frozen, fairly solid. So, uh, yeah, so it looks like you have about 20 minutes before your whole hand freezes. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess the, the key tip here is to make sure you don't ever pass out on a block of dry ice. Um, yeah, so... It, it's an interesting experiment. One other thing which uh, I didn't mention is that this ice is actually at 100 and about 110 degrees, 100, 109 degrees, negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really cold. Um, yeah, you you uh, you got to be careful around it. It's uh, it's fun to play with. Oh, and look, here's our uh, hand imprint. Um, once you get it over here, for the camera. So as you can see, we have a hand shape that has uh, kind of melted the ice right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, why don't you take it out, Corey? So yeah, that was, it was, it was interesting. So that's, that's the power of dry ice or things that are really cold. So uh, I think that, uh, I think that was a nice success. Now, uh, really quickly, let's show you some other fun things you can do with dry ice that aren't as dangerous. If you take some really hot water and you uh, get a small piece of dry ice, just pour that in there. You get some really fun fog. Okay, that's enough. So, yeah, that's really fun to do. Oh, and then here we're gonna pour it directly onto the dry ice itself. Um, just get a nice foggy thing of ice. So, but yeah, I think this was a fun experiment. Um, just showing you, you know, what what uh, what dry ice can do. So, you know, stay safe. Don't put your hand too long on the ice, and have fun. And thanks for watching.